I returned back to learning because my boy had got into full-time school and I was stuck in the house not doing nothing. When I was younger, I didn't continue with school, so I honestly don't know why I didn't just go out and get a job. I want him to stay in school now and encourage him, and he is watching my every move. So when he's seeing me do my homework, he sat there with his reading book, which is good to see. I went to the women's workshop to do a taster, ended up going to Barry College, done the first year, didn't really think that I was going to get through it, but did. And when the second year came and it was psych carpentry, I enjoyed it and I just flourished from there. And now this year I'm doing a diploma, which I never expected to do. Next year I want to do the MVQ3, um, which means I'll still be an apprentice. So by the time I'm 30, I'll be fully qualified. Then I want to do the HNC the year after. And so it's more learning, but eventually get my own career up and running. Sadly, it didn't go wrong after my mum had died because not only did she die, I lost my mum, I also lost my place to live. So I moved back down to London. I was literally sleeping in the entrance to King's Cross Station. Not the easiest place to get asleep at the time. Obviously, things were difficult for him. He'd just um, gone into our direct access hostel from, from living. Um, in, a, in a derelict house. You could tell that that wasn't going to set him back. He was going to move forward and he wanted to engage and he wanted to, to, to grab hold of, of whatever we could offer him um, through courses, through the music department that um, we had at the time. Uh, and you could tell that, that Ian would move on and that you know, his life would become better because he was determined to, to, to make that happen. The fact that there's so much out there that people can learn that they say we want to, then they should go for it, you know, because they, it's a, as far as sort of something, as I said, self-respect and confidence. I was just doing my GCSEs and I was predicted to get quite good GCSEs, but because finding myself being homeless and moving miles away from school and stuff like that. I completely failed my GCSE. So after living by myself for two years, I really wanted to do better. So went to a job centre. They put me on to training advisor and found a health and social course. Being only on this training allowance of £50 a week and living in a hostel that's so far away, having to catch the bus or get a taxi every morning to be at work by eight o'clock in the morning, to deal with challenging people that she deals with for as little money as she was getting um, and to have to come to college, you know, it just shows a dedication to do the course. I would want to run my own kind of care setting. So I've always liked the manager thing, so that's my main goal in life. I was at a stage in my life where I wasn't very well. I suffered with uh, severe panic attacks, depression. I just didn't know where to go until a leaflet came through the door advertising adult learning. It was absolutely pouring down with rain, very, very cold. I had a cold, but I got dressed and walked up to the college. The staff were brilliant. They understood what pace I could go on due to my panic attacks. I went on then to um, do a campaign to save for fields for the housing development, along with my husband and some groups within the community. We advertised a fun day event and we had 150 children turn up. We got the Echo involved, we got the HTV Studios involved and then it took us two years and I think the council had had enough of us by then and they knew we weren't going to go away and they let us have the field. And if I hadn't gone to college and hadn't learned everything I learned with computers and everything, I've never been able to save that field because I wouldn't have been able to do a letter and plus I would never, I've just still been locked up in my house, you know, all for a simple leaflet coming through my door.